Here I want to illustrate how to write a works cited entry for this article. It's an online article. Foxnews.com is the website. This is the name of the article. It has only a main title. Here's your author, the publishing date. Uh, here again is, is the website, foxnews.com. That's the one we'll use in our works cited. And what we need to do is uh, just go to a, a document here. I'm going to uh, write in larger font so that uh, it comes out well on the screen capture video. And we need, uh, we need this information. So um, I'll go back over here. Let's get some other stuff. Uh, copy and paste it. All right. So let's start with the author's name. Uh, last name first, and then first name. Then uh, the name of the article in quotation marks. Uh, MLA will want you to capitalize the first and the last word of every title. And then uh, to capitalize all other words except for prepositions, uh, which without is a preposition. Um, articles within the title, like an or the, in, in the title. Or small uh, coordinating conjunctions like and, but, nor, yet. Uh, now, when you have a period at the end of the title, it goes inside um, the quotation marks. Uh, there is no period here, but you'll need to put one in the work cited. Uh, and it just slips right between the last word of the title and the quotation marks. Now, the next thing we need to do is the, uh, the website italicized. So it's going to be foxnews.com, comma, and then the year, which is 2012, or uh, <clears throat> 2012. Period. Uh, the word web, this is what MLA wants to let people know uh, the medium of the source. And then if it is a web source, you need to next place the date that you accessed it, starting with the day. So it would be 13 September 2012, basically the day you looked at it. All right, so this is the basic um, works cited entry for MLA. Uh, the last thing we will do, I'm uh, just trying to get rid of some of these. Uh, lines here is to uh, <clears throat> indent this properly and we'll have to move the second line underneath the first line and so that it, it is positioned under it uh, in an underhanging way and uh, the best way to do this is to break this away from the first line so the computer uh, will allow you then to tab it in if you, you, you see the whole thing tabs in but if you break it away and come back and then just space it in you should be able to do that so we'll go ahead and space it in to about right there. We can tab it in at this point to right there. And this is called underhanging indentation. Um, so this is the correct way to cite just a simple article from the web.